I've been training for MMA for for about 12 years. I started when I was 15. My first actual fight was whenever I was 17. I was still in high school and everything. So about 10 years, like actually in the cage fighting. Uh, growing up, my mom always wanted me to be a swimmer, uh, to be in gymnastics or something. Whenever I found MMA and told her I wanted to do this, at first she was super against it because uh, she didn't want to see her little baby get hurt. Uh, but now it's something completely different. I, she's very involved. She's like another little promoter for me. <laughs> he works hard for He goes to the gym early in the morning. After the gym, he goes to work. After the work, he goes to the gym again. So when he comes late, it's, I saw him like tired. Like, but it's what he wants to do. It's, he's following, following his dream. So it's what he wants to do. My husband was with him all the time. He's not here, but I'm, I'm going to be with him. I'm going to be there with him, to support him all the time. Adrian's father brought him and his brother to my gym, and they were looking for a place to train. And Adrian was trying to get into MMA, and at the time, I think he was at a, another martial art gym where they didn't really focus on MMA. And he decided to drop by, and the rest is history. He came in, did a few workouts, and you could already tell he was gifted when he came in and worked out for the very first time. My dad did a lot of searching around. We had so many gyms lined up, but the first place we went to was a Metro Fight Club. As, as we're there, my dad, we're watching through the window, or my dad's just uh, watching him holding mitts for the guy, and my dad's just pointing out the small things, like, look at him, he's so relaxed. He has that guy, relaxed shoulders, not overthinking, just doing basic stuff that works every single time. Like my dad was like, we're not going anywhere. Like, we're not going anywhere. We're not going to any other gym. This is the gym that we're going to be at. It was an eye-opening experience that there is a lot to learn. And I'm far behind, and if I need to catch up, this is the man that's going to help me catch up. Adrian's a natural. You know, he had knockout power from the very beginning. It's just a matter of refining his technique. He has great instincts. He makes good choices when he's in the cage. So that's what keeps his fight short, because he's always making good choices and putting away guys fast. The art of mixed martial arts. It's just a beautiful art to me and it's just one of those things that there's something uncertain about it. And honestly, like it kind of correlates to life. Just like everything in life is uncertain, so is everything in MMA. I had a great role model. My father was just one of those guys who you knew like when he walked into the room as well. They, they say a man's man. That's what my father was. Walk into the room, you sensed his presence. He was just the overall great, great dad. He was a boxer whenever he was younger. Uh, he won the Golden Gloves three times in a row. I know he had aspirations of going pro, but he ended up enlisting in the military. Uh, first joined the Navy, uh, then the Army, and then the Marines. I felt like I lost my dad at, at the time where I needed him the most, where I was still learning about a lot of things. I, I think about the situation all the time, like how my dad got sick, when he got sick. And I always look at how he carried himself even during that time. Stage four cancer, couldn't do, couldn't do a lot, but yet he's up here not making any excuses. He's just up here just walking, trying to make the best of the situation, get up and still keep going to get better. The UFC promo, like the moment I saw that, we were watching the fights <laughs> and it just came out of nowhere. It's like a couple weeks before my fight and Man, I was just sitting there, and my brother was here, and my girlfriend was here, and next thing you know, just looking at the Dana White Contender Series promo, and they get to me, and I was like, oh, man, like, it's real. Once I saw it, man, I just couldn't stop crying. The fact that I'm able to relay his story and show how much greater of a, um, a man he was, you know, uh, makes me feel good. Dana White Contender Series fight, for me, that was the most calm I ever felt walking into a fight. You know, I knew what I had to do for that fight. It was it was a weird sense of calm. I knew that night I wasn't going to lose. As soon as they locked me in the cage, I knew what I had to do. For fights, that's how I feel a lot of times, is 
I feel calm. I'm cool, calm, and collected. That's one thing that's always been instilled in my head. Uh, going back to my father, my father would always tell me, that, look, to stay cool, calm, and collected in every situation you're in. You're never going to make a good decision, Matt. You're never going to make a good decision like being sad or anything like that. If you're cool, calm, and collected, you know, that's when you make your best decisions. And whenever I fought in the Dana White Contender Series, it, it just showed. I was cool, calm, and I enjoyed being there. Once I knocked him out, Everything was in slow motion for me at that time. They don't show this on ESPN, but there's a video uh, of me where I'm walking around and all of a sudden, uh, I just, I'm just like, oh shit, dad, I did it. And I fell, I'm collapsed, I'm looking up at the, at the ceiling of the apex. And man, it was just a surreal moment because I was just like, all this hard work, 10 years of me actually fighting. I was like, I've worked so hard just to even get to this position and I did it, and I did it like I didn't just only pass. I passed with flying colors, and to me, I was just like, holy crap, like, I've only dreamed of this moment. I would wake up from my dreams being like, I, like man, this is crazy. That, that probably won't happen. Uh, but the way it played out, man, I, I, I couldn't have dreamed of it being better than that. It, it, was, it was just a phenomenal moment for me, and just a one of those moments in, in, in my life where I realized I need to stop doubting myself because I belong there. I belong to be there and I've, I worked hard for it. And if you work hard for it, you'll get there. No matter what you're trying to do in life, you'll get to that point. Whatever you want, whatever goal you need, you need to, you need to get to, you can do it. And right after, right after the fight, my manager calls me, he's like, hey, we got a fight. Uh, October 31st, how do you feel about it? And I was like, I'm, I'm good to go, I'm ready to go. I found that out and like, it just, it all happened just really quickly, really, really quickly. I, and I was super excited that it happened that quick because man, I'm already in shape. I didn't take no damage. And I was just like, man, I wanna get my UFC career started. I'm not, I don't consider myself a UFC fighter until I step inside that cage. I promised my father I was gonna get a, get a belt I was gonna get a championship belt and I was gonna take take it to him and I made a lot of promises and I failed a lot of the times I, I was just scared of just just to go take my contract to my dad's gravesite going up and showing him that I did it we went as a family and, and showed him and I think that's what made it a lot more easier for me because whenever I went I went with my family and that made it a lot more special for me I just feel like it's it's great just to be uh, calm in life because the minute you start getting mad, the minute you start getting sad, the minute you start getting anxious, like your your decisions in life are very skewed. Like you don't make the right decision for yourself at that moment. Just like how my dad would tell me at times, like, look, get to mark your target, aim, and then fire. You don't want to shoot randomly. I just take that and just run with it, man. Cool, calm, and collected always helps you make the right decision. If you look at the guys who usually win, it's usually the guys that are calm or like they enjoy like being there in general. And that's the way I try to feel every time I step into the cage.